as he is modeled for, who carefully spaced trees and wide pathways. As so often happens, it was the combination of technology and genius that came together because the graphometer, which is one of these, was invented about 10 years before the month was first. So by the time he began to use it in his 20s, it was established. And it's a very simple instrument, but it did enable him to have a much grander design than had hitherto been possible. And it works on the basis you have a fixed baseline, and you take a reading, and you look down through there, and there's a hair lined up on that. And so I can fix that like that, and it's on a post. And then you keep that fixed and move around it, and then adjust this on that baseline, look through, take a reading, and the angle between the two can be written down. So you can put that onto a plan, which means that when you give it to your work, they can get it exactly right, even if it's a mile away, and it's a great long canal or a massive avenue. And of course, that with his vision changes. With his chronometer in hand and an army of neighbors, the Nantes was able to cut a central axis running west through the garden out on beyond its boundaries to what was then open country.